بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد Dear brothers, brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In this session, I shall explain to you the concept of Atful Bayan. Atful, atful Bayan. Now, the word Atf in the, uh, with the meaning of conjunction, Wow, Harf, Atf, Wow, and Fa, probably you came in came to know this expression in the very early days of your learning Arabic at harf atf but atful bayan we have not taught you there are two types of atf one is Al Atfu Atfu An Nasak Atfu An Nasaki and the other is Atful Bayani. So what you have learned is actually Atful Nasak. Though we probably, you may not have been told that it is called Atful Nasak, that is a complete name. But the word Atf, you always used it in the sense of Atful Nasak, which is the conjunction of Wa and Fa. For example, 
جَا بِلَالٌ وَمُحَمَّدٌ اشتريتو كتاباً ودفتراً I bought a book and a notebook دفتراً كتاباً ودفتراً عطفاً معطوف عليه That is actually what is known as عطف النسق نسق means arrangement so عطف النسق means uh, the particles which arrange the words one after the other like kitabun wa qalamun the second is atf al bayan atf a word which is used with the another word bayan for explanation atf al bayan is for explanation now atf al bayan looks like al badal you have learned badal for example aina akhuka hashimun aina akhuka hashimun where is your brother hashim so hashim is badal and akhuka is mubdal binhu that you have learned many examples of this so the atf al bayan is similar to the, the, the concept of uh, badal. Now there are two points, uh, two points in which these two differ. Atful bayan is different from al badal. Two, two points. Now number one is that Atful Bayan is different from Badal and two points. A and B. Number one, the in atful bayan, atful bayan, is the, that is the second element. Atful bayan should be clearer and better known, better known from the the uh, the primary element, the first element. It should be clearer and better known than. The, uh, the 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 first element. For example, we have. I'll give an example from our day-to-day -day life. For example, if somebody says, "Kabul tu Kabul tu." قابل تو ایلی زبف ایلی زبفا مفعول بھی then if you say قابل تو ایلی زبفا you will not get the correct idea of whom he met because there are thousands of women with this name ایلی زبف so whom did he meet but if you say قابل تو ایلی زبفا Malikata Britannia. Qabal to Elizabeth Malikata Britannia. Now this Malikata is Atful uh, Bayan because it is better known than the word Elizabeth. Now everybody knows whom he met. There will be no, there can be no, uh, no doubt about whom he met. So, Qabal to Elizabeth, Malikata Britannia, Malikata Britannia, this is Atful Bayan, 
it is better known than Elizabeth. So that is one of the points of difference is that in Badal it may not be very, it may not be better known, it may not be clearer, but in uh, Atful Bayan it must be better known or clearer. I'll give an example of being clearer. Uh, first of all, I'll give you an example, a classical example mentioned by all grammarians is Aqsama Billahi Abu Hafsin Omar Aqsama Billahi Abu Hafsin Omar Aqsama Billahi Abu Hafs Abu Hafs uh, uh, you know took an oath uh, in Allah, Aqsama Billahi, Aqsama Fa'il Billahi, Abu Hafs, Abu is Fa'il, Hafs is Mudafilay, and then Umar is uh, Atful Bayan. Abu Hafs is the Kunya of Umar Radiallahu Anhu. Is the Kunya of Umar Radiallahu Anhu. So, Abu Hafs and Umar, when we say Umar, it becomes clear. Otherwise, many people may not know who is meant by Abu Hafs. It's not a very well-known kunya of Umar. So, Aqsama Billahi Abu Hafs and Umar. Umar is Atful Bayan because it is clearer, it is better known than Abu Hafs. That is a classical example. All grammarian, all gramma, uh, grammar books mention this example. Aqsama Billahi Abu Hafsin Umar. Now the other example of being clear, I'll give you an example. This is Alif and this is Ba. هل عندك متنقل متنقل Now in some countries, especially in Gulf countries Gulf countries other than Saudi Arabia like uh, Dubai and Abu Dhabi and these places Emirates the word mutanakkilun is used for mobile phone, cell phone. Cell phone. Hal indaka mutanakkilun. But in, in Saudi Arabia, nobody will understand this. Just as we have, you say cell phones, but in India we say mobile. If you say cell phone, probably many will not understand. Hal indaka mutanakkilun. Then you say I. That is. Jawalun. In Saudi Arabia, everybody knows Jawal. Jala Yajulu, to move about. And Jawal is that which moves about very frequently. So that is the name given to mobile, Jawal. So in Saudi Arabia, this is clearer than Mutanakkil. But if you go to Dubai, probably you will say, Halindaka Jawalun. I mutanakkilun. There, mutanakkilun is clearer than jawal. But in Saudi Arabia, jawalun is clearer than mutanakkilun. I is harf tafsir, and jawal is atf bayan. So this is clearer than the first element. And here it is better known than the first element. So this. Uh, this is the first condition. The second condition, or second point of difference, first point of difference is that in Atful Bayan, the 
Atul Bayan is clearer or better known than the first element. In, uh, in, uh, in the Badal, it need not be. They can be equal, they can be less known. The, the second element can be, that is Badal. Badal can be equal to the Mubdal Minhu in being known or unknown. It can be better known than Mubdal Minhu. It can be less known than Mubdal Minhu, doesn't matter. But here it must be either clearer or better known. The second point of difference is that in, in Badal, the Badal, we are concerned with the Badal. That is our primary concern is with the Badal, not with the Mubdal bin. So, uh, say, Aina uh, Akhuka Hashim. We are concerned with Hashim. Uh, his being Akhuka, your brother, is, doesn't concern us very much. But in, uh, that is in Badal, but in uh, Atful Bayan, the first element, we are concerned with the first element. That is our primary concern is the first element. Aqsama Billahi. Abu Hafs in, Abu Hafs is, we, our concern is with Abu Hafs and Umar, we have used it only to make it clear whom we, what we mean by Abu Hafs. But our primary concern is with the first element and the second element has been used only to uh, explain or clarify the first element. So these are the two differences, points of difference between Atul uh, Bayan and Al Badal. Now, the grammarians say any Atul Bayan can also be a Badal. Any Atul Bayan can also be a Badal. Badal al Kul, min al Kul. Not Badal al Baad. You know, Badal al Baad, I called to Dajajat I ate the chicken half of it. Akaltu Dajajata Nisfaha. That is Badalul Baud. Then we have Badalul Ishtimal. Badalul Ishtimal is neither complete nor partial. It contains certain elements which are in the Mubdal Minhu. For example, Uhibbul Kitaba. I like this book. Uhibbu Hadha al Kitaba. Lughatahu. I like this book, its language. Now, it, 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 the language is neither part of it nor complete. It is some a quality or a attribute of the book. Uhibbu uh, Bilalan. I like Bilal. Kalamahu. Bilalan. Kalamahu. Now, Kalam is part, not a part. It is an attribute, a quality which is in Bilal. Uhibbu Bilala. Uh, kalam. That is Badalul Ishtimal. Badalul Ishtimal. Or Ajabani, for example, let, let it be. Fa'il. Ajabani Bilalun Ilmuhu. Ajabani. I liked Bilal. Ilmu, his knowledge. Ajabani Bilalun. Bilal is Fa'il here. Ajaba. Ajabani Bilalun. Uh, Bilal pleased, pleased me. Ilmuhu, actually, his knowledge. So that is Badalul Ishtimal. So you have Badalul Baal, Badalul Kul. Badalul Kul, for example, Aina Akhuka Hashimun or Bilalun. Akhuka and Hashimun both are the same. It is Badalul Kul, Minal Kul. So the grammarians say the, any Atful uh, Bayan can be Badalul Kul, Minal Kul. But in one, there is a one there is a uh, there is a condition. In one case, it cannot be; they cannot be the same. In one case, they cannot be the same. So, what did I say? I said, grammarians say any badal atful bayan can be badal badalul kul min al kul, except in one case. And what is that one case? The one case is that when one of the two elements is omitted, when one of the two elements is omitted, 
there isn't any disturbance in the meaning. The meaning is not disturbed and there is no defect in, in grammar. There is no defective element in the grammar. First of all, the, the idea, the meaning is not disturbed. The meaning is not disturbed. Secondly, there is no impropriety in grammar. The, 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 there is no impropriety. Now let us take an example. As I told you, when one of the two elements is omitted, the meaning should become intact, the grammar construction should be, grammatical construction should be intact. There should not be any change in either in meaning or in grammatical construction. So let us see, for example, Zainabu. Zainabu Jani Bilalun Ahu Ha. Zainab, her, bro her brother Bilal came to me. Zainab is Muttada. The Khabar is a verbal sentence. Jani Bilalun Ahu Ha. Jani Ni is non Vikaya Ya is Mafur Bihi. Bilalun Fa'il Ahu Ha. Atfu Bayan. Now Zainabu Jani Bilalun Ahu Ha. If uh, this is atful uh, bayan, if we omit atful bayan, then what happens? Zainabu jaani bilalun. There is no meaning. Who is Bilal? We don't know Bilal. Bilal has not been mentioned before in the sentence in this context, and he is a stranger in the sentence, the construction. Zainabu jaani bilal. Who is Bilal? There is no meaning in the sentence because we have omitted Ahua. But if we say, for example, Aina uh, Ahuka Bilalun, if we drop Bilalun, Aina Ahuka, the meaning is complete. There is no dif dis the disturbance to the meaning. Or if we say Aina Bilalun, also the meaning is okay. But here, Zaina Bujani Bilalun Ahuha. Ahuha explains to us what is Bilal, who is Bilal. If we drop Bilal, uh, if, we Bilal if we drop Bilal is okay, Zainabu, Jani, Ahuha, it, it, the meaning is complete, undisturbed. But if we omit Ahuha, Zainabu, Jani, Bilalun, Ahuha, if we drop Ahuha, the meaning is lost. So this cannot be classed as uh, Badal. It is not Badal. It, it should be termed or classed as Atful Bayan. Now the second example where we drop the first element. Here we drop the second element. It's a poetic line. It belongs to the times of the time. It's a pre-Islamic poet, but you know, uh, it's Abu, Abu Talib, the prophet's uncle. Aya Akha Waina. Aya Akha Waina. Abda Shamsin. Wanaufala 
ali do como أعيذكما بالله أن تحدث أعيذكما بالله أن تحدث حربا No, I'll read and explain. Aya Akhawaina. Oh, our two brothers. Akhun, dual is Akhawani. And our brothers, Budaf and Mudafili Akhawana, our brothers. And then, if we make it Munada, Munada Mudaf, it will be Mansub. We say, Aya Akhawaina. Oh, our two brothers. And then comes, بدل أو عطف البيان عبد شمس عبد شمس عبد شمس ابن مناف he was brother of هاشم هاشم was the great grandfather of the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم عبد شمس أيا أخوينا عبد شمس عبد شمس مضاف مضاف لي also منادى مضاف عبد بنصب that's also okay. But one naufalan, naufal. Naufal, as you know, is al alam al mufrad. Alam mufrad. It is like Bilal alone. Ya Bilal, Lu. Muhammadun, Ya Muhammadu. Abbasun, Ya Abbasu. So it should be Bilal, naufalu. But because it is atf bayan, of Akhawaina, this is possible here. Aya Akhawaina Abda Shamsin wa Nawfala. Oh, our two brothers, Abda Shams and Nawfal. Uraidu kuma billahi. Aada ya'udhu. Aada ya'udhu. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim. Aada ya'udhu is to take refuge, to take protection. And Bab Afala is Aadahu. He committed someone to Allah's protection. A'adahu yu'idhu Af'ala yu'fila zi aqama yuqimu U'idhu kuma I commit both of you to Allah's protection. An tuhditha harban harba Ahdatha yuhditu Also Bab 4 Ahdatha is to make something new to start, to commence أن تحدث حربا that you should start a war. وإذا كما بالله I commit you both of you to Allah's protection that you must that you should start a war. أيا أخوينا عبد شمس ونوفلا وإذا كما بالله أن تحدث حربا أن تحدث is منصوب because of أن Noon has been omitted. Tuhdithani. Ahdatha yuhdithu. Anta tuhdithu. Antuma tuhdithani. Both of you start. Anta tuhdithani. Because of an. Anta tuhditha. Harban is maful bihi. War. Now aya akhawayna. Now if we drop akhawayna. The first element. You can say Aya Abda Shamsin. That is okay. Aya Abda Shamsin because Mudaf Mudaf Ilai. And Mudaf Munada Mudaf. It can, is Mansub, it's, it's, it's okay. But we say Aya Abda Shamsin. Or Nawfalan. Nawfalan is wrong. If it is Badal, it is wrong. Because Badal is, they say it is a repetition of the uh, عامل. The عامل, if you say for example, رأيت أخاك بلالا, رأيت أخاك بلالا, is if it is as if one says, رأيت أخاك رأيت بلالا. The uh, عامل, the element of the word which changes the uh, case ending, 
has to be repeated. You, you assume that it is being repeated. So, Ja'a Bilalun, Ja'a Khuka Bilalun means Ja'a Khuka Ja'a Bilalun. Ya Muhammadan, uh, if you say Ya Abdullahi uh, Ali you, Ali you, you must say Ali you, as if you say Ya Abdullah, Ya Ali you, as if you are repeating the uh, Amil. So here, Ya, uh, ya Abda Shamsin is okay, but you say Ya Naufalan is wrong, you must say Ya Naufalu. So if you drop Akhawayna, which is the first element, then Naufalan cannot be Naufalan, it should be Naufalu. So in this case, it should not be classed as Badal, it can be classed only as Atf uh, Bayan, because in that case, Naufalan cannot be Mansur. So these are the two, two yeah, one, in a, one case in which Atf yeah, Bayan cannot be Badal, what is the case? When we drop either of the two elements, either the second element or the first element, there should not be uh, any disturbance to grammar or to the meaning. If there is, the meaning is disturbed, the grammar is disturbed, then it is to be classed as Fubayan and, and not as uh, Badal. There is another example I will give you. Ya Bilalu Al Abbasu Ya Bilalu Al Abbasu Ya Bilalu Al Abbasu Abbas is either here uh, here it is either a, a laqab a title or his other name Abbas, you know, is from Abasa Ya'abisu. Abasa Ya'abisu. Abasa in the Quran, Abasa wa tawalla. Abasa Ya'abisu. Is to frown. At the opposite of smiling, frowning. Ism al fa'il is Ayabisun. And Sirat. Uh, Mubalagat ism al-fa'il, siyagatu ism al-fa'il is al -fail al Abbas. Abbas, one who always, when he frowns always. His face is a frowning face. Abbas. That is why a, a lion is also called Abbas. Abbas, lion is always frowning. So Al-Abbas, <coughs> the uh, uncle of the Prophet, one of the uncles of the Prophet was Al-Abbas. Now Al-Abbas we say. As we have seen in some uh, selection, selections from the Glorious Quran, I had explained that certain proper names have Al. And uh, like uh, Al Hasanu, Al Husaynu, Al Abbasu. Now the Arabs use, have used Al with all these proper, some of the proper names. We can't use with any proper no name we like. Uh, and we are also learned that when a proper name with Alif Lam becomes Munada, the Al has to be omitted. As Zubair, you say Ya Zubairu. We don't say Yal Zubairu. Abba, Al Abbas, you say Ya Abbasu. The Alif Lam has to be omitted. Hasan, Al Hasanu. Ya Hasanu. Ayn al Hasanu, Aja al Hasanu with Alif Lam, but Ya Hasanu without Alif Lam. So here, Ya Bilalu al Abbasu, it's okay here. But if you drop Abbas al Bilal, Ya Bilalu al Abbasu, it is not correct grammatically because Abbas should be without Alif Lam, you say Ya Abbasu. But we, when we dropped Bila, it became Yal Abbasu, which is grammatically incorrect. So this is this should be Atul uh, Bayan and cannot be Badal. 
So these are the two, uh, these are the one uh, uh, case where yeah, Atful Bayan has to be Atful Bayan, it cannot be classed as Badal. That is when one of the two elements, when it is dropped, then there is disturbance to either the meaning or the, of the grammatical construction. In that case, it has to be regarded or classed as uh, Atful Bayan and not as uh, Badal. In all other cases, any Atful Bayan can be regarded as Badal, which is Badal al Kul. Now, the Atul Bayan can be Marifa or Nakira. Can be Marifa, as we have said, Marifa. It can also be Nakira. But this is, there is difference of opinion between the grammarians. Some grammarians say that Atul Bayan can only be Marifa, it cannot be Nakira. But other, other grammarians say that both Marifa and Nakira can be Atful Bayan. And one of the greatest grammarians who has advocated this idea is Ibn Malik. Ibn Malik is the, the man who wrote Al Al Alfiya. In Alfiya, in the Alfiya, he says, فَقَدْ يَكُونَانِ مُنَكِّرَيْنِ he says, I'll write this, uh, the line in which he says, فَقَدْ يَكُونَانِ That is the it atful bayan and the first element, that is matbu' فَقَدْ يَكُونَانِ مُنَكَّرَيْنِ مُنَكَّرَيْنِ وَقَدْ يَكُونَانِ مُنَكَّرَيْنِ كَمَا يَكُونَانِ مُعَرَّفَيْنِ كَمَا يَكُونَانِ مُعَرَّفَيْنِ مُعَرَّفَيْنِ وَقَدْ يَكُونَانِ مُنَكَّرَيْنِ كَمَا يَكُونَانِ مُعَرَّفَيْنِ وَقَدْ You know, قَدْ As you know, in المضارع, it is for doubt or paucity, sometimes. وَقَدْ يَكُونَانِ مُنَكَّرَيْنِ مُنَكَّر, نَكَّرَ, يُنَكِّر, there is a second, Islam of rule, مُنَكَّر, which has been made indefinite. وَقَدْ يَكُونَانِ Yakunani, the alif in Yakunani is the ism kana, which refers to Atful Bayan and the first element in Atful Bayan. Waqad Yakunani Munakkaraini. Kama Yakunani, as they may be, Mu'arrafaini. Arrafa is also second bab to make it Ma'arifa. And Ismul Maful is Mu'arraf and this is Muthanna Kama Yakunani Mu'arrafaini Both Munakkaraini and Mu'arrafaini are the Khabar Afkana The Ism Afkana is Alif Waqad Yakunani Munakkaraini Both of them may be either indefinite Kama Yakunani Mu'arrafaini as they may be Mu'arraf Ma'arifu Now here are uh, one or two examples of uh, Nakira. Marifa we have seen. Nakira. Uh, Nakira here. Examples of of Nakira. That is in Atf Atf al Bayan.
I told you an example before. عندك متنقل أي جوال. Another example. اشتريت اشتريت حليا. حليا حليا means ornament like a chain or a bracelet اشتريت حليا سوارا سوار means bracelet اشتريت حليا سوارا when you say حليا the listener doesn't know what exactly you bought then you say اشتريت حليا سوارا it uh, uh, clarifies what is meant by huliyan, what type of ornament you want. Shtaraytu huliyan siwarat. We have a couple of examples from the glorious Quran. Oh. Kafaratun. عام مساكين أو كفارة طعام مساكين فايف نينتي فايف أو كفارة طعام مساكين. This is the ayah speaks about the arrangement for one who uh, hunts an animal hunts an animal while in the state of ihram he's going to hajj or umrah and he's in the state of ihram and then he uh, kills an animal game uh, in that case the, 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 there are detailed uh, you know requirements so now there is aw kafaratun or expiation expiation ta'amu masakina the food of the poor or feeding of the poor ta'amu masakina aw kafaratun ta'amu masakina now ta'amu is atful uh, bayan kafaratun Ta'amu masakina. The word ta'amu masakina explains or clarifies what is meant by kafara. Aw kafaratun aw or an expiation. Ta'amu masakina, the food of the poor. Another example from Surah Al Nur. Yuqadu min shajaratin mubarakatin. Yuqadu. من شجرة مباركة زيتونة يوقد this lamp is lit yuqadu min shajaratin from the oil of a tree yuqadu min shajaratin mubarakatin a blessed tree zaytunatin now zaytuna is at bayan olive plant yuqadu min shajaratin mubarakatin zaytunatin now zaytuna shajara is nakira and Zaytuna is also Nakira. We also seen Kafaratun is Nakira. Ta'amu Masakida. Wa yusqa min ma'in sadid. This is 1416. Wa yusqa Wa yusqa min ما إن صا 
Så det gick det. Fourteen sixteen. وَيُسْقَى مِنْ مَاءٍ صَدِيدٍ Now in the previous ayah there is a reference to وَخَابَ كُلُّ جَبَّارٍ عَنِيدٍ وَخَابَ كُلُّ جَبَّارٍ عَنِيدٍ وخاب كل جبار جبار دكتاتر جبار عنيد أرغنت وخاب was brought to nothing خاب means he did not succeed وخاب كل جبار عنيد every you know arrogant dictator was brought to nothing من وراء جهنم دين و and the next ayah ويسقى من ماء صديد صديد ويسقى he'll be given a drink he'll be to drink يسقى سقى يسقى سقى يسقي and passi was يسقى he'll be given a drink من ماء a water صديد no ماء صديد this is as a tribeyan صديد means pass p u s pass Ma in Sodidin. Ma it doesn't mean water, it means liquid. He will be given to drink a liquid uh, which is Sodid, which is pus. What is Khamin Ma in Sodidin? So Sodidin is Atubayan uh, and both are Nakira. Uh, as we have Yukadamin Shajaratin, Mubarakatin, Zaitunatin, both are Nakira. Us Khamin Ma in Sodidin. Ma in Nakira, Sodidin Nakira. And also, straight to Huliyan Siwaran, I bought uh, ornament, a bracelet. So, uh, as I told you, Ibn Malik uh, advocates that the Atul uh, Bayan can be Nakira. Others, some grammarians say it cannot be. But he says, فَقَدْ يَكُونُ مُنَكَّرَيْنِ فَقَدْ يَكُونَانِ مُنَكَّرَيْنِ كَمَا يَكُونَانِ مُعَرَّفَيْنِ Now we come to the last point Can عطف البيان be a sentence? Can عطف البيان be a sentence? Sentence, both of them are the first and second element both are sentences Is it possible? Most grammarians say no but some grammarians say it is possible. One of them is Al Ghalayini, the man who wrote the book Jami' al Durus al Arabiya. Jami' al Durus al Arabiya. It's a recent book, but he is no more. Mustafa Al Ghalayini. Now he thinks, of course, uh, classical. Uh, grammarians, some of them say that, that it's possible. The actual bayan can also be in sentences. Now there are two sentences. I'll uh, write them. In 2120, for waswasa ilayhi shaitanu. For waswasa. إليه الشيطان فوسوس فوسوس إليه الشيطان قال يا آدم هل أدلك هل أدلك على شجرة الخلد على شجرة الخلد وملك لا يبلى 
ומולקין לא יבלה. לא יבלה. זה סורת טאהה, 2120. ווסווסה אלי שייטן. Satan or uh, they will, Satan whispered to him, Waswasa. This is Bab, uh, is Fel Rubai, Waswasa, you waswis. In so, so at, uh, the last surah of the Quran, Rather, you waswisu. To whisper. Waswasa is. فعل رباعي وسوسة يوسوس لك زلزلة يزلزل سوف وسوسة إليه to him وسوسة إليه الشيطان الشيطان is فاعل وسوسة is فعل فوسوسة إليه الشيطان said whispered to him قال he said يا آدم أو آدم هل أدلك دل يدل بضعف البضعف to point out to tell where the place is دلني على على دلني على مكتب البريدي دلني show me the post office دلني دل يدل أمر دل دلني على مكتب البريدي دلني على المدرسة show me the school lead me to give me the information about هل أدلك على شجرة الخلد shall I show you shall I show you the tree of immortality خلد is immortality so he went and told him يا آدم هل أدلك على شجرة الخلد دل على دل takes على preposition على دللته على دللته على المسجد دللته على تعليم الإسلام على مسجد تعليم الإسلام هل أدلك على شجرة الخلد خالد خالد is immortal so شجرة الخلد shall I show you point out to you or tell you where the tree of immortality is وملك لا يبلى وملك لا يبلى and a kingdom and a kingdom that will not waste away Baliya Yabla Baliya Baliya Yabla Baliya Yabla means to get worn out for example if you have a shirt after 50 years when you look at it it will be worn out Baliya Thawbi, Baliya Qameesi, Baliya Also if there is a building 100 years old, 200 years old and things falling coming off falling down we say هذا البيت Baliya, Baliya هذا البيت مضارع يبلا to be worn out so he says على ملك in a kingdom لا يبلى which will not get worn out which will not you know uh, waste away which will al always remain as it is so for what was I like his shaitan certain it's put to him he said oh Adam shall I show you the decree of immortality and a kingdom Nakira and a kingdom لا يبلى لا يبلى is jumla fa'liya it is a na'at of mulk, mulk in la yabla, which will not waste away. Now, according to grammarians, for waswasa ilayhi shaytanu, this is the first element in atful bayan. The second is, qala, the whole sentence, waswasa, he whispered, what did he whisper? What did he say in his whisper? Qala, ya adamu, this whole sentence is atful bayan of فوسوس إلى الشيطان. so there are two elements. قال يا آدم this is عطف البيان. and فوسوس إلى الشيطان that is the first element. as we say. فأقسم 
بالله أبو حفص عمر أبو حفص عمر عمر is عطف البيان and أبو حفص is the first element المطبوع the second آية ونود ونود أن تلكم الجنة ونود أن تلكم الجنة أورثتموها أورثتموها بما كنتم تعمل تعملون بما كنتم تعملون. Now this is seven forty three. Wanudu, Wanudu, as you can see, is Nada. This is Bab three. Bab Fa'ala Nada to call. Nada Yunadi, he calls. Passive voice, Nudia, he was called. Or it was called to him, it was said to him. Wanudia. And this is the plural, Nudu. The wow is the naible file. Wanudu. It was announced to them. They were called. Or it was announced to them. An tilkumul jannatu. An an is the an harf tafsir. What was the announcement? The announcement was an. That is tilkumul jannatu. This is the paradise. Tilkum. ذالكم sometimes you know ذالك الكتاب the the one you know pointing to a thing which is far away is used because it is something deserving respect you know a person very respectable person very honored person we don't very go near very near to him so we keep away so that is we say ذالك it doesn't mean that he is away, but it means, you know, they say بُعْدُ الْمَكَانِ يَدُلُّ عَلَى بُعْدُ الْمَكَانَةِ بُعْدُ الْمَكَانِ بُعْدُ الْمَكَانِ يَدُلُّ عَلَى بُعْدِ الْمَكَانَةِ You know, makana is status, position. Makan is place. So, Bordul Makan, the distance in, uh, in space. The distance in space points to the distance in, in the position, in the status. So, when we say Dhalika, we mean to say that he is a respected and very honored person. Dhalika. ذلك الإمام ذلك الإمام ذلك الرجل الإمام he may be very close to you but he says ذلك to point to to suggest that he is a very honored and respected person they say ذلك الكتاب many people ask why ذلك why not هذا ذلك الكتاب that book it actually means this book but ذلك has been used to denote that it is something deserving respect and uh, that is why the word Dhalika, as you say, Bordul Makan, Yadullu ala Bordul Makanati. Nudu, they will be, uh, it will be announced to them, until Kumul Jannah, that paradise, that is the paradise. Until Kumul Jannatu. Uh, Al Jannatu is not Badal, 
it is the khabar tilkumul jannatu you know kum tilkum we have seen that in the book it is called tasarruf kafil khitab tasarruf kafil khitab tilka ka is harf harf al khitab harf al khitab it's not a word it's a harf uh, so it's not like kitabuka which means it's pronoun no it's not a pronoun it's a harf al khitab and when we are speaking to one man we can say tilka tilka sayyaratu jamilatu if you are speaking to your sister you can say tilki sayyaratu it is the same car but you say tilka for a man and tilki for a woman you say tilki sayyaratu jamilatu it is optional of course you need not say always tilka and tilki for a woman and we are speaking to a group of men you can say tilkum sayyaratu jamilatu tilkum sayyaratu jamilatu and if you are speaking to a group of women you can say tilkun sayyaratu jamilatu it is the same car same thing but dhalika you take into consideration the man whom you are speaking so dhalika ya muhammad dhalika tilka sayyaratu jamilatu ya zainab tilkis sayyaratu jamilatu ya ikhwan tilkum sayyaratu jamilatu ya akhawat tilkun sayyaratu jamilatu so Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa nudu an tilkum al jannah that is the paradise o ristumuha warisa yarisu this you have seen in the book warisa to inherit warisa yarisu this is e e group warisa yarisu ba for is awrasa awrasa to make someone inherit passive voice uristum you have been made to inherit ha ha refers to jannah of course this sentence is hal because tilkum al jannah is ma'rifa وَنُودُ أَن تِلْكُمُ الْجَنَّةُ أُورِثْتُمُوهَا بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ Because of what you had been doing. So uh, here also وَنُودُ It was made uh, It was announced to them And what was the announcement? أَن تِلْكُمُ الْجَنَّةُ أُورِثْتُمُوهَا The whole sentence is full bayan of نُودُ uh, they were given an announcement it was announced to them until kumul jannah so until kumul jannah the whole sentence up to bima kuntum ta'malun is a atful bayan atful bayan of uh, the first sentence nudu so this is these are two examples of uh, atful bayan in sentences now i have finished I hope the concept is clear to you. So, atf al bayan, atf is of two kinds: atf al bayan and atf al nasak. Atf al nasak is conjunction wow and fa, and, uh, meaning and. Hada kitab, indi kitabun wa qalamun ja bilalun wa Muhammadun. This is atf al nasak. Atf al bayan is similar to. بدل similar to بدل قابل قابل تو رئيس من سيد قابل تو إلز بيسا ملكة ملكة بريطانيا so ملكة بريطانيا is عطف البيان because it is clearer better known than Elizabeth and the in the عطف البيان the second element is clearer than the first element it is better known better known than the first element second point in atful bayan 
the first element is what concerns us the second element has been used to make it clear to clarify or to specify in badal it is the second element badal which is badal which concerns us al mubdal minhu does not concern us so much and then i told you that athul bayan can be in ma'rifa as well as in nakira ibn malik has mentioned in his alfiya that both of them can be either ma'rifa or nakira and then any atful bayan can also be a badal badal al kul min al kul but it's not possible only in one case and that case is when when we omit one of the two elements there is disturbance to the meaning of the sentence or to the grammatical construction now for example zainab ja'ani bilalun akhuha zainab ja'ani bilalan bilalun akhuha zainab mubtada ja'ani bilalun akhuha is khabar jumla fa'liya now if we omit akhuha then we what remains is zainab ja'ani bilalun which has no meaning because bilal we don't know him he is not connected with the sentence and we don't know who he is so zainabu ja'ani bilalun has no meaning so the meaning is disturbed here so it should be atful uh, bayan it cannot be badal uh, this is the ex- an example of omitting the second element now another example uh, an example of omitting the first element is the famous line of poetry by Abu Talib Aya akhawayna abda shamsin wa nawfala Aya akhawayna abda shamsin wa nawfala O our two brothers abda shams and nawfala Now akhawayna is mansub because it is mudaf munada mudaf akhawayna na is mudaf ilay akhaway is mansub abda shamsin is atf bayan that is also mudaf and mudaf ilay is mansub but now falan now falan is alam mufrad if it is possible only in atf bayan if it is badal it is not possible you must say aya akhawayna abda shamsin wa nawfalu because it, it, it will be mabni ala al dham ya bilalu ya muhammadu but if we drop akhawayna we say ya bilalu ya nawfalu ya nawfalan is not possible if we drop ya ya akhawai ya akhawayna and then we say aya nawfalan it is not possible because nawfalan should be ya nawfalu so as it is not possible after the omitting of the first element it is to be regarded as at um, bayan uh, and not as badal then i told you that atul bayan can also be in sentences which is also a a matter of difference of opinion between the uh, grammarians but some say that it's possible and i given you two examples from the glorious quran wa waswasa ilayhi ash-shaytan qala ya adam hal adulluka ala shajarati al-khuld wa mulkin la yabla wa waswasa ilayhi ash-shaytan is first element qala ya adam is second element and that is atf bayan wa nudu an antilkum al-jannatu wa nudu it was announced to them and uh, an announcer an announcement was made to them and what was the announcement antilkum al-jannatu the second element is the the second part of the sentence of the second sentence is atf bayan of the first sentence as i told you that some of the grammarians one of them al ghalayni mustafa al ghalayni the author of this book jami' jami'u durus al arabiyyati 
جامع دروس العربيتي مصطفى الغلائيني هذا مودرن غرميريان كورس هذا ديد so he says that Atul Bayan can also be in sentences, can also be in sentences. Uh, and I have mentioned to you the ayat, two ayat, wherein uh, it is said to be Atul Bayan. The second ayah, the, the second part of the ayah is a Atul Bayan, or the first part of the ayah. I have explained to you in detail. So that is the uh, name of the book, Jami' al-Durus, Jami' al-Durus al-Arabiyyati, Jami' al-Durus al-Arabiyyati, and it is by Mustafa al-Ghalayini. I better write the name, Jami' al-Duru, جامع الدروس العربية جامع الدروس العربية نعم هذا أثر إز مصطفى مصطفى الغلاييني المصطفى الغلاني غلاني غلايني مصطفى الغلايني هذا نعم بدي أصا نعم بدي بوك الجامع الدروس العربية I hope you have understood this concept of عطف البيان and I, I hope you will enjoy it, enjoy the lesson and by reading it several times inshallah, by listening to it several times you will be able to master it inshallah.